All right, breakfast this morning will be pretty simple. We got granola with some powdered milk. That we'll mix up, make kind of cereal, and we will have some coffee, which will be two Cafe Bustella instant coffees mixed in with a little bit of hazelnut creamer. I'm splurging this morning. So that's breakfast, and uh, I'm getting it going. I'll get on the trail and hike for a while, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to hike to Oki Mountain Shelter, which is six miles, and then from there, I'll see what time I get there, but I'm expecting to get there by lunch or just before maybe, right around lunchtime. And so I'll probably eat something and then um, text the shuttle guy, Brandon, at um, Elevated Grounds, and he said he'll be, he can pick me up this afternoon where the trail crosses Highway 94, which is right at the Chief Ladiga Rails to Trail trail that runs through there. So that's about uh, a mile, according to Gut Hook, that's about a mile walk from the Oakey Mountain Shelter to that crossing. He said he thought it was a little further. Um, Gut Hook says it's a mile. We'll see. And then uh, should pick him. Uh, he'll meet me there, pick me up, and head back to the truck. All right, I guess while I'm packing up, <clears throat> I'll just kind of go over my, a little bit of my gear real quick, I guess in case somebody's interested. Sometimes people ask. So, uh, my pack's a uh, ULA circuit that I'm uh, hiking in with or carrying. That food bag is one of Hilltop, Hilltop Gears uh, food bags. Nothing too super spectacular, just plain white food bag. Uh, cook kit, I've got an old Snow Peak 700 that I've had for ages. The lid is not the original, that's uh, a lid made by Four Dogs, I think is the guy that makes these titanium lids. So that's the lid, I've had that for a long time too. Cooking on a Soto Optimus canister stove, sometimes I rotate between that and a alcohol stove usually a fancy feast since I was doing uh, possibly three and a half days out here maybe four um, I brought it instead of the alcohol uh, for a cup I use this is an old Nalgene that I cut the bottom out of and it fits right down inside there wonderfully and then it nests with the fuel the fuel can upside down. I drop my lighter and scrub pad down in the bottom of the cup. The fuel pad nest upside down in there. Stove and a small little towel piece of cloth uh, all fit inside the pot. Nice little package. And I can do the same thing with the, uh, the alcohol stove when I bring it because um, I don't have the canister in there. But um, I usually carry the alcohol in a separate bottle. so it's not usually in there. Uh, sleeping wise I've got a hammock gear 20 degree under quilt. I've had that for a couple years. Um, top quilt over there is uh, fairly new to me uh, but it's not a new one. It's a Catabatic Gear Palisade which is their 30 degree um, bag or, or quilt with I think a two ounce overstuff. So it should keep me warm down below 30 maybe 25 maybe uh, it was totally toasty at 36 the other night so of course tonight last night it was like an oven in there it was only it only got down to 60 last night so uh, tarp is made by underground quilts it's just a standard hex shape uh, seal poly tarp and then the hammock, which is piled up over there, is a uh, Warbonnet Eldorado hammock. And then my collection of clothes strewn about. All right, Oakey Mountain Shelter, here we come, six miles. Right up through the woods there is Duggar Mountain Shelter, just left. And I'm headed that way. I've been on this little dirt road for 
our car crowed, I guess, for the last little bit. Ran into a couple of hunters, and they said it is fixing to get pretty nasty here in just a little bit, rain-wise. So I'm gonna stop here where the trail turns back into the woods right up here and go ahead and get the raincoat out. Mm, nothing like hiking in the rain. Coming down pretty steady, but I thought I'd show you how much fun I'm having. Rain slacked off just a little bit. I'm still headed downhill that way. And that is, I don't know if you can make it out through the trees, that's the Terrapin watershed down through there. So I'm, I think the trail makes it down to that watershed and then across the dam, maybe down on that end, I'm not sure. Oh, the trail opens up in a nice little meadow. Looks like that's uh, some kind of antenna station or something over there. It opens up into a meadow here and the watershed is right over there. Looks like a nesting box for eagles or something. That's pretty cool, nothing in it. So you come out of the woods there, if you're headed north, come out and ease through this little meadow here. Well, I'm 2,441.6 miles from Mount Katahdin in Maine. That's a ways. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Give you a little better view of all that's gathered at this end of the, the watershed. That's like, there's a pump or drain or something running down there. And it's feeding. Oh yeah, that's a big pipe. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I don't know if that's the shelter. Right there. I don't know if that's where I'm going or not. If that is the shelter, then that's where I'm going. All right, dry shirt, dry socks. Still got on fairly damp pants, but had some lunch. Got some hot apple cider in me, so I'm warmed up a little bit. It's not that cold, it's only 60. But uh, I probably don't need this, but that's all I had that was dry. So, got about a mile and a half to the paved uh, Chief Madiga Trail, and then a half a mile on that to the road crossing, so it shouldn't be a bad hike. All right, I just stepped out onto the Chief Ladiga rails to trails. This is an old railroad trail or railroad bed but they turn into a, a multi-use trail so 50 miles that way. This is approximately Anniston and 50 miles that way is uh, just north of Atlanta somewhere. So it's about 100, I think it's about 105 miles roughly. This is the halfway spot. That's a campground right there that used to, it's closed right now. I think they closed back during the, the pandemic and nobody's, they don't have anybody to uh, host it or man the campground. So it's closed now. So they, this is, campground's about halfway mark on this trail. So the last little section of the Penhody before you step out onto this is nice and quiet through a, through a pine thicket, old growth pines or so it's nice and quiet, especially after a rain like we had last night and this morning. So it was nice and quiet. But uh, that wraps up this trip. I started uh, Thursday, so it's been just over two days, roughly. Two nights and three days, approximately, just under that, of um, hiking. I did about 18 miles, and so it was nice. We had had an enjoyable trip. I was going to plan to stay at the um, Oki Mountain Shelter uh, last night and then hike out in the morning, but clothes are kind of wet. I got enough I could sleep in tonight dry, but I don't want to deal with drying out the clothes that I got and then hiking out tomorrow and I was this close. So Brandon's going to meet me up here 
uh, where we hit 94, Highway 94 is about a half mile of this walk. And it'll take me back to the truck, so. All right, before I wrap things up completely, just thought I'd give a shout out to a little small business here in Piedmont, Alabama. It's uh, Elevated Grounds is the name of it. It's a little coffee shop, sorry. They also do the shuttle service for the Penhody around here. And so I stopped in there and got a lovely cream cheese Danish and a cappuccino for the ride home. It's much better than the Jack's coffee that I had driving up here. But I um, thought I'd share that with you. If you're looking for uh, shuttle service to and from the Penhody Trail in this general area of kind of North Alabama, Piedmont area, please look them up. Great, great service. Uh, Brandon, uh, you can find him on Facebook. Um, great, great service. Dropped me off uh, yesterday, picked me up actually a day early. Uh, I was able to reach him, reach him uh, from uh, the Oakey Mountain Shelter and uh, get him to pick me up a day early. And so, super nice guy, a little small business, always good to support small businesses. So, hey, if you're in the area, uh, even if you're not hiking, if you're in the Piedmont area, stop by, get you a cup of coffee and a Danish. They got other stuff in there too. So, just wanted to give you a shout out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next go around.